Hello, Professor Grayballs here. Just uh, woke up from a car camping bed here at Wahoo Kona Park, and I get to I get to wake up right by the dang ocean. Feeling mad grateful to be able to do such such a thing. Uh, what a treat. And it's rare. It's rare to, to find a public park that is not trying to kick, kick people out at some time of the day. Uh, nothing infuriates me more than being told that I can't go into nature. <laughs> How upsetting. It's nature. And if it's a public park and it's closed, that's not exactly public, now is it? At best, it's a part-time public park. The other, tar- the other part-time, private park. And who's it private for? Nature. Nature needs its private time too. Sorry, humans. Get the hell out. You do not want to see what nature is going to be up to during private nature time hours. <laughs> I just wish government would just be honest about owning the park. If it's going to be closed, just say right on the sign, government owns this park, it closes at six, you can all suck government's dicks. It rhymes. And then there, there's parks where they charge money to get in. Public parks they charge money. I guess those are national parks, which, I, I, yeah, I guess that says it right in the title. It's owned by the nation, which is another thing. It's not it's some man-made entity that owns the nature and charges 30 bucks like it's goddamn six flags they could be honest too they could be like look we're turning nature into a theme park we're government we own it matter of fact we own all the land all the people that claim to be property owners guess what we own your land too you're going to be paying property tax to us aka rent every year for the rest of your life. Then your kids are gonna do it, then your grandkids are gonna do it, then your great grandkids are gonna do it. Your entire lineage is gonna do it forever because that's how long government lives, forever. As long as you believe in it, government keeps on living and keeps on owning all the nature. Just like God. Whoa, how about that comparison? The belief in government is similar to the belief in God. We all go to the voting booth and pray and then pay our tithe, a.k.a. the tax, to this higher power that may hopefully, hopefully one day fix all society's ills and create heaven on earth. Oh, if only this place could be like heaven on earth. Wow. You know, there's another entity that is like that as well. Is godlike. Man made, human made, I should say. Let's get those ladies in there too. Human made, just like government, that people view as this higher power that also is prayed to, that also you pay a tithe, pay a tithe to, which is organized religion. Which ironically, the government gives special breaks to, tax breaks. And they don't pay property tax, property, (laughs) property tax. So, they are the only entities that really get to own the land, other than the government. 
And then there's one other entity that also gets to live forever, also human made, also gets prayed to on the regular in the form of our dollars, and those are corporations. That's a holy trinity right there. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost of control over our lives. And as long as we keep believing, keep paying, then they keep existing. And meanwhile, the real God is behind me right now. And you're looking at it. And you look at it each time you look in the mirror. Creation of the natural, of the natural form. Anyway, excited to be at this park. <laughs>